You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. I'm talking to an undefeated fighter. He's 23 and 0, super welterweight. Islam. He's fighting tomorrow on the card at Boca Raton Resort. Islam, welcome. Thank you. You undefeated. You're fighting for the belt. How you feel? Very good. I am very. I am uh, very know this fight. I, I am very anyone for this 154. Why? I have, uh, day one is why training for this my life. My name is very. Thank you. What do you know about your opponent? I know Kerma, my opponent. This is a boxing. I go to the ring. I show you tomorrow. Well, what does he need to know about you? No, I am. This is boxing is first is uh, training, you know. I am uh, no young. I am two time Olympic Games. Amateur boxing. Oh, you play, you for the Olympic twice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bronze medal Olympic. Uh, oh, bronze medal winner. Yeah. I have everything. Yeah. This is, uh, and now you're going to have another belt tomorrow, right? Yeah. How long have you been fighting? I am uh, 15 years I am boxing. 15 years? Oh. What started you to start boxing? Seven years I started boxing. What started you? Why did you become a boxer? Uh, this is for my brother. Uh, brother. Your brother? Yeah, teach me boxing. Again, I love my boxing. Now it's boxing, boxing my life. Like that. Well, good luck to you tomorrow, Islam. I'm glad to meet you, man. Glad to know a lot about you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome, Numberto Gonzalez. Well, you're on the card. You're 23 and 8. You're fighting for the super middleweight belt. He said, Bienvenido. Tú estás en la cartelera de mañana. Y tú tienes un buen record de 28 y 8. Y va a pelear por el título. ¿Cómo te sientes? Muy bien, gracias por esta invitación. Y me siento fuerte. Hice una buena preparación para esta pelea. Thank you very much to, for the invite and, and for the companies. And, and I've done a, a, a well preparation for this fight, and we're coming to fight. Your opponent is Islam. He's 23 and O. What do you know about him? Eh, tu oponente se llama Kana Islam. Tiene 23 y 0 invicto. ¿Qué sabe más, más o menos de tu oponente? Bueno, sé que es un peleador fuerte, pero no ha enfrentado rivales duros como los que he enfrentado yo. He goes, no, he, uh, he's definitely a very tough fighter, uh, he's strong. He goes, but he hasn't faced uh, uh, rivals like I have. He hasn't faced champions like I have. He hasn't fought a tough Mexican like yourself, right? Que no ha enfrentado un mexicano guerrero como ustedes. Claro, no ha enfrentado un mexicano y venimos muy bien preparados. You're absolutely right. He has not confronted, I mean, has confronted a Mexican warrior and, and we come very well prepared. Mexican warriors are some of the best in the world and throughout the history of boxing. So, what are you going to bring to him to make him really feel your power? Uh, los mexicanos son boxeadores guerreros um, en, el, en el mundo de boxeo y, y en el, ¿sabes? De, 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 de hace tiempo, ¿sabes? ¿Qué, qué tú vas a traer a, a la, al, al ring mañana para, para que este, este muchacho te respete, para que vea que está adentro el ring con un guerrero mexicano? Ok, mira, tengo... Para mañana traigo tres cosas que todos los, los mexicanos tenemos, que es cabeza, corazón y discúlpame la palabra, pero huevos. Entonces, eso, ahora sí, como dice, venimos a, a morir en la raya, venimos a dejar todo arriba del ring. He says, well, he goes, what I'm going to bring to the table and to the ring tomorrow is three things that what Mexican warriors bring. It's brains, heart, and excuse my language, balls. He goes, and like we say, we're going to die in the ring right there in the middle of the ring. Big cojones. <laughs> <laughs> Big. Big. 
Well, thank you and good luck to you tomorrow night. I really appreciate it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Hey, I'm here at the media event for the great fight, but I got the Chinese uh, silver medalist in the Olympics, Jean Gillet, heavyweight, as you can see. You're fighting Curtis Hopper tomorrow. How are you going to beat Curtis Hopper? This is Chinese Zhang Zilei. I'm going to fight Curtis Hopper tomorrow. What kind of fight is it? The fight is the fight, and then it's 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 the fight. Yes, I hope everybody wait and see how I perform, and you will see how I fight from there. Now, you are a silver medalist in the Olympics, and that was very good for you. How does it feel being a professional fighter now? Uh, uh, being a professional boxer feels like very, very good. And I've been training hard and making this transition, and I'm still learning professional. Uh, the business and the style of professional boxing. So I'll do my thing, do my work step by step, and hopefully one day I'll become world champ. Do you enjoy fighting in the United States? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah. You have a lot of fans back in China? Yeah. Yeah. 然后，然后大家也一直在关注着我，然后给我鼓励，给我支持。Um, you don't see a lot of professional boxers from China fighting here in in United States. That's correct. Yeah, that's why um Chinese boxing fans are following me a lot. But I will admit, the ones I have seen are very, very good, and, and you're very, very good, right? 他知道中国的虽然不多，但是能打出来的都很好，你就很好。Yeah, yeah. And you are undefeated. Uh, he just said he represents like one of the good boxers. So, um, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Good luck to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking time. Hey, I'm at the media event. We got Nate Campbell here with his fighter, Curtis Harper. Curtis is fighting tomorrow on the card here in Boca Raton, but right now we're at the Double Tree. How you feel today? Feeling good, feeling really good. Right, excited, ready to fight. Haven't done it in a while, so ready. It's very excited to get back in the ring and make it happen for us, you know? You've been on for two years. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but been in good shape, getting in good shape for the past two years too, so. And don't let nobody mistake it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm ready to come back and put, put a show on. Nate, well, what you gonna uh, do for him, or what have you done for him to prepare him to fight tomorrow? Well, the the, the best thing that was able to go on with Curtis was he was able to find himself. Um, Curtis took off at one point thirty eight, eight pounds by himself, and um, <clears throat> he said it in. He didn't like the way he felt at one twenty nine, so he let his body put on a little more weight. Got back to one four two forty. Two, about two, 239, 240 is what he's walking around now. He's in exquisite shape. He's, he's mentally there. That's important for us right now. He's mentally ready. Now, when you were training him, though, did he have to uh, fix his body or tell his body to retool itself? No, he just ate different. He, um, he cut out a lot of stuff that was, you know, unnecessary calories. He did a lot of, a lot of unnecessary calories. He looks good for it. His body looks good for it. He feels good for it. You're fighting an un undefeated fighter tomorrow, Curtis. 
<laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Let's just say it ain't the first time. It ain't the first. He ain't going to be the last one I beat either. So there's a few more out there that I'm going after. This just one in a way. That's all. Well, he's from China. He came all the way here to beat you. <laughs> That's sad to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sad. Well, Nate, with your with your ring experience, though, I'm sure you, there's a lot you did show him to help him better himself, right? Yeah, you know, Curtis Curtis is a good student. You know, we all fighters have their way of doing things. and It's important for us to let them do the things the way they want to do them, but also show them the way that works best in the whole scheme of what's going on. And Curtis, is, he's going to show, show a lot of people some stuff tomorrow. Well, I wish I can spend more time talking to you guys, but thank you very much for taking time with me, Al McGee, your entertainment ticket. Good luck to you tomorrow, and always good luck to you. When are we going to see you in the ring, Al? Are you oh, retired? Man, I'm, I, my, if, I say, yeah. if I say I'm going to the gym, my daughters bring my grandkids <laughs> and put them in the gym. That way I can't work out because they'll leave, and the grandkids, are, some of them are small, they get into stuff. So I'm going to stay retired. I'm going to train the heavyweights and train the lightweights, and every now and then I get in the ring and box. I box. They let me box. They let me spar, but they don't let me fight. <laughs> I know, right? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so good, right? Whatever.